So we're sitting here with the great Jim Freund. Okay. I say the great Jim Freund because you are, uh, well, how long have you been in science fiction or in the environment science fiction? No, oh, since I was seven or eight. And my uncle started reading it to me. Mm. Uh, but you're, you're, when I say you're a fixture in science fiction, maybe I should say that. A fixture. I want to use that word fixture. Because um, uh, I don't want to use wheeler dealer. I don't want to do that. You've known a lot of science fiction things. I just really want to know one thing, and then we can go off from there. How does one really read science fiction? I know it's a strange question, but how does one really read science fiction? Remember, you have academic kind of readings, you have you know, uh, beach kind of readings, you have, I don't know, whatever, uh, non-fiction, whatever. How do you read science fiction? You back into it. You don't, you start reading it, and you're not even aware that you've been reading it until somebody says, that's science fiction, you know? Uh, I had an associate who you may be familiar with by the name of Samori Marksman. And at one point, he didn't see the purpose of having a science fiction show on the radio and caused the show to change to a music format. I went out and brought him a couple of books, and he said, I've read this. I said, and how is that not science fiction? That was 1984, which is about when this was not science fiction and all that. And all of a sudden, he realized that he loved science fiction returned me to the format I had been doing, because he was program director at the time. He'd been reading science fiction all of his life and loving it, but didn't really realize what it is. And when I say science fiction, I include fantasy, I include speculative fiction, I include anything that tends to reach out of the ordinary. E.L. Doctorow, who died yesterday, was a great science fiction writer. Um, he has time travel. He has different things going on in his books. He never thought of himself that way. Nobody he was never published in a science fiction magazine, but he wrote science fiction. George Orwell wrote them, uh, uh, a third of his output was science fiction. When you write a book about 1984 and 1948, when you write Brave New World, when you write... That's Aldous Huxley, Brave New World? Uh, yeah, that's Brave New World. When, when you enjoy A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare, when you read The Hobbit, when you... Uh, th this is all science fiction fantasy. All, it's all part of the same genre of imaginative literature that <coughs> has no definition. The best definition for science fiction was coined by somebody named Damon Knight who said, science fiction is what I'm pointing at. Mm. And so you back into it, and a few people, now knowing that they've backed